guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new my name is Shawana and today I'm gonna be walking you guys through my new morning cleaning routine so this video is in collaboration with my friend Yesenia from Yesenia on mom's life and she's gonna be doing an evening routine so I will let her go ahead and introduce herself to you guys guys I am Yesenia from Yesenia's a mom's life I am a wife and a mom of three kids I post everything from cleaning videos recipes grocery hauls get it all done videos sometimes I even post wreath tutorials over on my channel and I also post three times a week so if this is the kind of content that you like after you finish watching this beauty's video don't forget to Get, check me out can't wait to see you over there bye guys I love Yesenia's channel she is so down to earth and so relatable and just has so much energy I don't know how she gets it all done but she does so I'm gonna link her video in the description box below I hope you guys will go and check her out after you finish watching this video and let her know that I sent you over so I've talked to you guys about this before, but my husband and I have decided to keep the kids home for the foreseeable future so they're no longer in daycare and they're home with me every single day unless I'm working and I only work on the weekends now. So every day they're home with me. So I had to come up with a way to still keep my house clean but have the kids at the same time. And it's taken me a while, about three or four months to finally get this down, but I think I have it and I'm gonna show you what I do now. So I'm kind of a perfectionist, but I've had to get away from that since the kids are home every day. So now instead of trying to clean everything to perfection every single day, I've decided to break it up into zones. So I'll do a specific room or a couple of rooms where I will deep clean those rooms on a specific day and the rest of the, the rooms will just have to be done but not perfect. So I have to keep telling myself done, not perfect. So you'll see that I kind of rush through most of the rooms today and just get them done um, and then the ones I'm gonna focus on today is my mud room and my laundry room the other thing I've changed is my laundry routine so I used to do laundry just about every day but I didn't have a routine so I just did everybody's laundry and what would happen was when it was time to put them away I would have my laundry the kids laundry my husband's laundry and I'd have to go up and down the stairs up and down the stairs to put things away and since I didn't want to do that they would just end up in a basket for a week so now what I do is I do my room and I wash those fold them in my room put them away immediately and then the next day I'll do the girls room same thing fold them in their room and put them away immediately and it's changed the game for me I still do one load a day, but I get it done from dirty to drawers every single day. And it is working really, really well. My husband's happy, I'm happy, and the laundry beast is not beating me anymore. Let me feel your love again. I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Another thing that's helped a lot is to have a chore schedule for my son. So he is 11 years old, so he's capable of doing several things around the house. So his chores are to, of course, take the trash out. But recently, I've started having him unload the dishwasher first thing in the morning. So that way, after we eat breakfast, all I have to do is just load the dishwasher. So that's actually helped me quite a bit. We're still working on him getting things put up in the right spots. I'm still having to go behind him and put things in the right spot sometimes but we're working on that and it's actually helping me out quite a bit and he also makes his own bed and vacuums the upstairs so that takes a lot off of my plate and I I've had to learn to kind of stop trying to control everything so much and let the kids help a little bit Without you by my 
So as you can see, the kitchen was done, not perfect, and now I'm moving on to the living room and just picking up. I had some magnet tiles still out the kids were playing with earlier, and the pillows were all over the place, but I'm just going to pick up, straighten the pillows, and move on to the next room. My youngest lost her mind and decided to play with the stuffing in my pillows. So I had to zip that back up and get that back together. So now I'm going to just help the girls get their beds made and pick up the floor a little bit. Izzy is getting really good at making up the beds so she does both beds for me most of the time and Ellie will pick pick up the toys and things off of the floor. If you haven't seen this bedding before this is called Betty's Bedding B-E-D-D-Y apostrophe S. It's really really good for kids. All they have to do is zip it up kind of like a sleeping bag and that's it the bed is made. It's the best bedding I could think of for bunk beds. So if you have bunk beds, you probably want to check out Betty's because they are awesome for bunk beds. Moving on to the laundry room, I'm just moving the clothes from the washer to the dryer and getting those started and then I'm going to go ahead and start wiping down the washer and dryer. Starting with the washer, I'm just going to take my all-purpose cleaner, which is the Method All-Purpose in the Basil scent. I'm going to use that to wipe it down and it's kind of crazy to me how something that washes gets so dirty but the washing machine can just get so dirty so I'm just taking a rag and wiping it down really quickly. So the mud room naturally just gets really, really dirty. It's the catch-all space is where we come in the house and every come in the house and go out of the house every single day. We leave our shoes there, we leave our jackets, we basically just drop everything here when we come in. So it gets really dirty. And so every now and then I like go in and give it a deep clean. So I'm wiping down the lockers, wiping down the baseboards, the doors, and getting everything really nice and clean.
sure how to make this work But you know that I got you I just need you by my side Will you be mine? Can't get away from you Even if I wanted to I'ma be so good to you You and I will see this through Baby, I need you More than you need me, yeah Feels like we're popping now Changes, they're stopping now I can't stop thinking about you Hope you never ever leave from my side I can't stop thinking about you Hope you never ever leave You kill the lies, we come to life I see the fire in your eyes I can't stop thinking about you Hope you never ever leave When you say my name Oh, na, 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 yeah I can feel the rush Oh, na, 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 yeah I know how to make you smile So I'ma keep you from frowning I hope that we got enough time Cause you're so fun Baby, I need you More than you need me, yeah Feels like we're popping now Changes, they're stopping now I can't stop thinking about you Hope you never ever leave from my side I can't stop thinking about you Hope you never ever leave You kill the lies, we come to life I see the fire Looking back at this video, the doors and the baseboards were filthy. The camera does not pick up how dirty they were and I'm gonna make sure to zoom in on it and really show you guys the next time I clean baseboards but it was really really dirty. And for whatever reason, it just did not show on the camera. So don't think I'm cleaning a clean space. I was not. Oh, na, 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 yeah. Right next to you, you make me forget about all the bad things. We'll make it shine. Don't need to fake it. Oh, yeah. Baby, I need you oh, more than you need. To clean the glass in the doors, I am using the Method Glass Cleaner. I'm not a fan of the Method Glass Cleaner. It does not clean really well to me, but I do still have some left, so I don't believe in wasting it, so I'm gonna use it all up until it's gone. I see the fire in your eyes. I can't stop thinking about you. Hope you never ever leave. When you say my name, oh na 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 yeah. The last thing I'm doing in these two rooms is to steam the floors and then I will be done pretty much cleaning for the day. The reason why this new routine has been working so well for me is because it takes me about an hour, hour and a half to do this. It took about two hours this time because I was filming, but if I was not filming, it probably would have taken me about an hour. Um, as opposed to on a normal day before I started this routine, I would clean all day long off and on because I was trying to get everything so perfectly clean. So this gave me so much more peace and so much more time to spend with the kids and it's been working really well. So I just wanted to share with you guys what's working for me. I know a lot of people are in the same situation that I am in and I have a pretty big family. So I just wanted to share what works for me and my 
three kids and a husband and a dog and still have time to not just be cleaning all day long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope when you finish this video that you will go over to check out Yesenia's video and let her know that Shawana sent you when you get there. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe if you are new. I would be so happy to have you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Every heart in the world is looking for a partner.